Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be adding a new spoiler to the car and redoing some vinyl on the car as well. Um, before we get started, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Um, I, we got here really, really fast. I started this channel back in, I believe, February, and we're already at 1,000, probably 1,400 by the time you're watching this video. But um, going into the video, also, the analytics do not lie. I think about 80% of y'all are watching my video but not subscribing. So if you're watching this video right now, go ahead and drop a like below and also subscribe to my channel for more content on my 2020 Accord and other builds in the future. Um, but today is something very special. We have a new duck bill spoiler and we're doing a repair for the um, tail lights. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so over here on the table is my new duckbill spoiler. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the one I have on the car right now, but they're the same color. They look similar, but this one's much bigger. I'll show you the difference when I take them off the car. And then right here in this box is a tail light wrap for the 2020 Accord or 2018 Plus Accord. Um, it's a black vinyl overlay for the OEM and maybe aftermarket tail lights. I'm not sure about aftermarket, but I know they fit OEM. Um, people always ask me what tail lights am I running on my car and I am running the OEM tail lights with a vinyl wrap on the outside and also a tint delete on the inside on the um, clear parts. I'll go show what it looks like right now and why I'm replacing it today. So here's the rear of my car. This spoiler is nice. I like the way it looks but I'm kind of wanting a bigger kick up because this one kicks up a little bit over OEM but the new one should stick up to about right here. Kick up really high. Also, here is the tail light vinyl delete that everybody's been asking me about. The reason I'm redoing it is because over time the edges are starting to peel up and I'm the type of person that wants my car to look fit and finish. I want it to be perfect. Also, it's starting to peel up a little bit over here on the inside. Just over time it's picking itself up. So it's not my fault that they're doing it. It's not premium's fault. It's just sometimes if vinyl isn't stuck on right, it will peel up. See, this side is still good. This side's not picking up at all. But I just want to go ahead and redo it and make it look perfect once again. You can see down here, it's picking up a little bit. But yeah, that's why I'm doing it. Ooh, I think I got a package. No, it's not me. That's not me. <laughs> there was a UPS truck coming by. I thought it was my, my package. But my Amazon package should be on its way. It should be coming around the corner any second now. Look, look at that. What did I say? Amazon package on its way. But it's not for this video, sadly. Anyways, um, so I'm going to start with putting the adhesive on this spoiler. The spoiler did not come with adhesive on the bottom of it, uh, like the other ones. So I'm going to start with putting some 3M on the bottom. And I think I'm going to put the Gorilla, group, the Gorilla tape on the edges, like on this side and that side, because that's the side that lifts the most. All right, I'm gonna start with cleaning off the surface with some alcohol, so that way it gets a really good adhes or adhesion on it. I'm using just some over-the-counter alcohol, a little towel, or a little pad. This is just some um, Gorilla Glue or Gorilla branded mounting tape. Nothing special, just the strongest that I think it is. I think it's stronger than 3M. But for this one, I'm just gonna put on the outside edge.
go ahead and do the insides. I'm gonna line it all the way around the back, front, and get everything nice and 3M'd up. So the reason I'm using the Gorilla mounting tape on the outside because it's stronger and it's where it tends to lift more. So I'm gonna use regular 3M like thick tape on the insides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the car and take off the old spoiler. It should be pretty simple. Just use a little bit of heat and pull it off. I already pulled it off once before. You also saw that other video when I had to replace it or re-put it back on. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully it goes good. And I'll do the tail lights later. Watch, just wait, just wait. Before I put the new spoiler on, here's the size comparison as I promised. You can literally see it's twice the size which I think looks amazing in my opinion. So that is the reason I am changing my spoiler out. And I wanted this one anyways, but they've never been in stock and I finally found them in stock. So I finally got one for my car. But yeah, this thing looks, they also offer these both in carbon fiber, but I don't like carbon fiber. I don't know why it looks cool, but gloss black for the win right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the car, clean it up the car trunk and then put this on the car. This is gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna snap. And it should be done. All right, now I'm gonna grab the spoiler and line it up, pull the adhesive, and stick it on the car. All right guys, so now that is the spoiler. Look how it looks so much better. Like that looks, that looks 10 times better in my opinion. Look at that, look at that side profile. That looks nice. And now to the tail lights. Two weeks later. All right guys, so I'm in my dorm right now getting ready to record the rest of this video. Um, here is my driver's side tail light. You can tell that it has started peeling and cracking ever since that video that I recorded the clip before this. It's been about a week. So yeah, now it's time to actually redo this stuff because it started peeling on my last road trip that I took to Chicago. So yeah, I'm gonna put you on the tripod, remove this old film, and then put the new film on there.
how the premium auto styling tail light wrap comes packaged. I'm gonna start with the middle first, which is these down here. I'm building a little tail light. I'm trying to figure out which side is which. Oh my god, I hate wrapping stuff. But <clears throat> that is the Telex wrapped. Those are the two sides and the two trunk pieces. Wrap the bottom, top, bottom, top. So now I'm gonna go put these back in the car and show you the result. I'm gonna snap through this. We're gonna see the outside. Probably be a different day. Yeah, I didn't record an outro to this video. I'm editing it right now. Um, but yeah, if y'all did watch to the very end, drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more. It is two o'clock in the morning. Once again, editing really late at night because I love editing at night. But yeah, that's the end of this video. See you on the next one.